morning. Welcome to your Monday morning devotional. I am so glad you're with me. We're in uh, Psalm 119, uh, growing through the Psalms, but also uh, identifying the Hebrew letters that uh, earmark each of the passages. And we're in the second to last one. Uh, the word today is shin. Uh, now, some in your Bibles, you might, you might see sin and shin, but it's shin, or it can be either one. Uh, so that word means tooth, steadfast, change, return, or year. Now, this is, this is powerful. I hope I can explain this to you this morning and encourage you. Reading from verse 151, I believe, or is it 161? I think I need to go to Spec Savers. Uh, Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word, like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous rules. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I do not, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and testimonies, for all my days are before you. Now, this letter it has to do with um, mulling things over or chewing on things, hence the word tooth. And it's about um, contemplating things before you make the next move. You may have a, um, a decision that you have to make and you need to chew on it. You need to mull it over uh, in your mind. And in this particular uh, word, it has to do with um, he who does not change um, has to think about the next step, but there's always an opportunity for change, a change for the good. And, and that what this means is that you could be going down a wrong road, and, and but you know there's something weighing up, and, and there's ne it's never too late to uh, go the right way. And, and so what this is talking about is consider, consider your next move. We know that Jesus said that, that when it comes to uh, salvation, uh, that it's something that you sit down. What, what builder builds a building without uh, weighing up the costs to see if it's possible to be done? Or what king wages a war if he knows he cannot win the war? He has to sit down and think about the outcome of his decision. So it is for us. Uh, whatever decision that we make, we may be making a wrong decision, but there's always a chance for something right. And uh, I want to encourage those of you who may have made a wrong decision when it comes to God to make a right decision, to come back to God. Be there with him. There's always time for redemption so that you may stay steadfast to God. Great peace. Have those who love your law Nothing can make them stumble. If you're struggling with peace today and you're stumbling around it in life, make that choice today. Think about it. Mull it over. Change is available for you to return to God.